Welcome to another Tutorials for Dumbasses. Today we are going to run through some Instagram uh, tutorial buzzing. And I just want to show you why I've mentioned quite a few times in previous tutorials why I say that Instagram is quite powerful as an image editor on its own. And I actually wish that they would release um, Instagram as a standalone image editor because it makes simple image editing and making your image pop quite easy. You do not need the filters. If you took a good enough picture, you just need to tweak some of the settings in the edit part of posting an image. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's just have a look. And I'll run you through the various aspects of this. You see there's all your filters, but you don't need them. Let's go to brightness. Brightness is simple enough, it just makes things either more bright or a lot more darker. We'll keep it over there for this image. Contrast just uh, changes the light and dark contrast of the image. And depending on the look you're going for, you can choose. Structure adds a lot more drama to the image. I usually steer clear from this one, but for this particular image, we'll have it on six. Warmth either adds blue tones or warm tones to your image. Saturation either can make your picture black and white or add a lot of color. So for this one, because she's wearing a colorful top, I'll just bring that up just a little bit and make sure to not tint your subject's skin if it's a person too badly that they look like they are burnt. Color I usually don't use a lot. It changes either the tint of the highlights or the tint of the shadows to the colors displayed. Fade, I also don't use a lot, but I can imagine someone that likes to, yeah. <laughs> Highlights, I also don't use a lot, but for this particular picture, I think I will keep it at that just to make the subject pop a little. Shadows, I usually don't use either, but you can either bring up or bring down the level of the shadows, the brightness of the shadows. Vignette, I almost 100% always use, and it just creates a vignette around the image to make the center pop. Tilt shift, you get to blur uh, and sort of use a fake depth of field on your subject. I should actually use this more, but I don't actually use it a lot. But for an image like this, you can see it's quite useful just to blur out the unnecessary background, which in this case is the tiles. So we are getting to a very good spot here with this image and sharpen. Obviously, if you have a blurry picture, sharpen will help to just sharpen that picture all the way up. For this picture, this picture is a little bit blurry. And there you can see the difference. Oh yeah, of course you have your rotation tools, but you usually only use that if you have taken a picture that's slightly skew. And you can rotate it if you want to. But yeah, there you can see the humongous difference between what we had initially and what we have now. And then you can just click next and post it because our image is now complete. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please do like, share and subscribe as is the usual way of doing things. I will keep the tutorials coming and I will make sure that they are informative sometimes fun but we all have something we can learn and i hope that you did learn something from this and happy instagramming enjoy it